Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Jesse here, back with another video. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my top 5 favorite crazy freaking building blocks in the Lumber Tycoon. So, uh, yeah, I think we should just get started now. Number 5! So yeah, as you can see right here, we have the most mediocre block of them all. It's a number 5 spot, it ain't too great, but you know, it's pretty cheap. It gives you quite a lot of space for only freaking... For only 1600 bucks, ah, oh, it's super good. Like the only problem is that you can see these real uh, ugly little, little yellow lines there. But honestly, man, that's not a big deal. You can easily cover those up with some blocks. Like just look at that, right? Oh, would you look at that? Covered! This is a freaking great block. You know, it works pretty well with some other blocks. I, I highly recommend using it for industrial builds. It's uh, it's overall pretty good, you know. So yeah, I think we should uh, get to the number four now. Number four! Coming in at number four, we have these freaking brown little floor pieces. Would you look at that? Don't those look great? Just imagine having a ketchup full of those, man. That'd be sick, dude. But what is that? You might be think. If you come over here, I've got this amazing looking painter, right? What? That is actually a floor. But now it's a painting. It's super sick, right? The uh, only thing that sucks about these is that they're super small and they cost like freaking $2,006. That's a lot of money, man. I got 10 of these. I got I spent 20k on that. But they look so cool, man. Like, like if you build with these things, man, like you're a baller, dude. Number three. So coming in hot at number three, we've got none other than the fair sawmill. I think uh, from here on out, all the building options are going to be a, bit, a little bit more, like, feasible, like, to actually use. And, like, I could actually see people use these because I genuinely think these are great. And um, right here, we've got the fair sawmill. And I freaking love the color on this, right? It works so well with so many other, like, great colors. If you see, I've put the number five spot here. It's not that realistic of a building material. But it works super well together. And the price of the Ferris Sawmill isn't too great. Like, if you would want to build, like, a base out of these, it would be pretty freaking end game, right? Like, you're looking at, like, 1600 for every single piece. So that's, like, 10,000. No, 16,000 for, like, 10 pieces. So it's not that great, you know? It's not, not that cheap. But we're going to get some more cheap options now coming here in the number two and one spot. So, yeah, get hyped. Let's look at those. Number two. So what we're looking at here is the one, the only, the OG. Uh, so what we're looking at here is the one, the only, the OG coming in at number two. It's none other than the good old car wall. Yes, these are the car spawning pads. And I think these have some, like, like this is one of the greatest textures in the game. Like, honestly... This works so well. Like, there is not that many planky textures that you could use in your lumber base. And this works super well. And it comes in so cheap. Like, these are such big pieces as well. You get so much space. And these cost only freaking 400 for each one of these, right? You could build an entire base out of these for like a maximum of around like 10,000. And you're getting then so much space, right? This is more efficient than freaking wood. Like, using wood takes more time than this. It's so cool. And I think these really do deserve the number two spot. But, you know, in the number one, we have the, uh, you know, the best one. I think the, the number spot, man, is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, and I think you guys will be pretty hyped to see that. So, uh, let's have a look at those, shall we? Number one. Coming in in the number one spot. We have... None other than freaking concrete? Concrete? You might be thinking, how the hell are you getting that, man? Like, freaking concrete, you know, you can only build with wood and lumber, as far as I know. <coughs> and what I'm using here is none other than, like, the cheapest sawmill, right? Like, the shabby sawmill, like, all the way what you start off with. And I think this looks so sick, right? I'm using this as in a bank building. Like, I think just generally this material makes could make one of the like one of the greatest storage building materials. 
like I'll walk you guys inside here, right? This is um, kind of like behind the scenes, like it's all my stuff, all the stuff that I've gotten uh, like as gifts and all that kind of stuff. But as you see, I'm using the backboards here from these sawmills, which would kind of suck to work with usually. I'm using these as the backboards for my shelves, right? So honestly, I think this really does work very well. It's kind of like a saturated brown. It's super sick looking, right? And you know, you just throw a top on here. But guys, you might be thinking, right? But it costs a lot of money, Jess. That doesn't cost anything. These cost 130 a piece. Like that is so cheap. You can buy 10 of these for 1,300. You could build one of these ba buildings for almost that money. That is crazy cheap. That is so freaking cheap, man. Like, honestly, I think this this is so much more efficient than wood, right? It's so much cooler looking than wood. Like, why would people even use wood these days, you know? Just freaking use sawmills and cars. They're way better, like just saying. At least that's my opinion. And uh, I hope you guys agree with the number one spot with me. Because I honestly, like, when I figured out about these things, man, I got super hyped up. But yeah, before I end the video off, guys, I just want to, you know, quickly mention that these are all my opinions, of course. You know, you, I might have a different list. And for sure, if you have any other really cool building ideas, leave them down in the comments. Like, if you see ever see a little guy, like, called Jesse DC in the comments, that's, that's me, man. Uh, like, you know, tag me in there, and I'll for sure have a look at it. Because I freaking love being creative and trying to come up with things that are kind of, like, out of the box. And allow you to, to really express yourself. By figuring out things, you know, like quirky things and that kind of stuff. That's the one thing I freaking love about lumber, right? And I think we should come together and try to find the most amazing building blocks in this actual game. So, you know, if you have any ideas, let me know. I would love to. And as well as that, um, from now on, uh, me and Snack have kind of made a, a bit of a schedule. Uh, you might have already heard about it in one of his videos. Um, but yeah, uh, from now on, on I'm going to kind of be like in quote-unquote charge of making a video every single Friday and you guys might be thinking like you guys have also been telling me Jesse why are you not making videos like for your own channel man we kind of love what you're doing and that kind of stuff um, but the reason for that is right I genuinely do not have the time to make videos on like a somewhat regular basis like one video a week is going to be kind of really kind of challenging for me I'm very busy with school I'm very busy with school and that kind of stuff you know like I'm, I'm like pretty pretty normal guy kind of I don't know maybe but you know that's why I'm working together with this and snack but yeah honestly man like me and snack have been friends for so long like we're I would say he's my best friend like IRL like even though he doesn't live in my country and stuff like we've met up before and stuff it's like he's just such a great person and you know I love working on stuff with him and you know just doing this whole YouTube thing even though it's not my channel and I'm not making content on here that regularly well from now on every week so that's kind of regularly but it's just been such a blast i love doing this kind of stuff with him i have always worked on creative stuff with snack and this is just another one of the chapters in our creative lives and i freaking love it i love working on this kind of stuff now, when i look at your guys's feedback even though it might not might not be directly like directed towards me it just makes me feel good inside like how how like just the idea that snack is just found something that people really enjoy him doing and you know that as a friend like that makes me feel very happy for him so yeah uh, that's also why i won't be starting on my own kind of channel you know won't spin off on my own and that kind of stuff but yeah that's kind of all i wanted to talk about here at the end i did it at the end and now it starts so you guys didn't have to wait through it um but you know i hope you guys kind of enjoyed the video i am pretty rushed right now i'm in my finals week so i couldn't spend as much time i would on every video because you know i'm freaking a busy bee okay so yeah i still hope you guys enjoyed you know drop a like if you did um and subscribe to snack and kind of me for one day a week if you if you want to be into that kind of thing you know uh, see you guys later man bye, -bye!